This is your bob winding video for your Singer 242. You can see here I've just threaded the thread from the inside of the bobbin out, out through one of those little holes there. Now this is just going to help you lock on the bobbin when you thread it. So I'm going to add, put it on the little peg here for the bobbin winder with the thread coming up off the top. Um, it's going to loop around the button part of this and then the spool peg still sits at the same place. It's going to sit right there. Um, next thing you want to do before you start winding the bobbin is this hand wheel has a little um, hand wheel with inside of it. You turn that hand wheel one turn towards yourself and you're going to unlock the motor moving the rest of the machine. So that's always a good trick to know so you don't have to move your needle around when you're winding your bobbin. Uh, next thing you're going to do, you know, really just slowly when you get started, you're going to hit the gas just a little bit and wind up. Oh, don't forget to turn this little dial. <laughs> Push this little dial over. Um, and now you're going to hit the gas. Maybe hold the little dial with your thumb a little bit. will help get it started. And there we go. So now it's wound around the bobbin a couple times. Now at this point, you can get rid of this tall tail. Oh, <laughs> tall tail. Uh, hang A thread hanging off. Because at this point, you can just hold the little dial and it should fill top to bottom. All nice and smooth. Um, and then, of course, turn this dial back like this. Oh, pull your thread off, maybe a little stiff, but that's that's how they are. So, so you pull that off. Now, don't forget before you start sewing to turn this little piece back into place so that when you hit the pedal, it engages all of your machine. Um, I guess really quickly too, I'll tell you a couple things about the machine. Um, this is your straight stitch. The farther you turn it to the right, the bigger the zigzag stitches are gonna get. This is your needle position, so that's maybe helpful if you're putting in a zipper or you want to sew really close to the edge. Um, you can move your needle left or right, so that's super helpful. And then this one's got two great zigzag stitch. That's your regular zigzag, and that's sort of like a blind hem stitch. So it's got two great little zigzag stitches. This uh, dial here, that's the length of your stitch. So, you know, getting new to sewing, I always suggest people stay at number four. That's giving you the biggest stitches possible. That means when you do make a mistake sewing, and we do, it's that's part of the journey, it's easier to cut it with a seam ripper. So stay at a number four. Um, you know, getting down to number two, that's for like silk. That's really tiny stitches, but you're really only ever sewing in between that uh, this would be teeny tiny to do, you know, kind of embroidery stuff. So you really only need to stay around here. Um, uh, and I guess that's it. This is your upper tension. You know, average is about a four. That should stay like that. That should be fine. Uh, and if you've got any other questions, just message me. There you go. Happy sewing.